Today is the day, or maybe this week is the week. It is time to start your next assignment at your brand new facility. Your first few days and even weeks at your new job site may be full of anticipation and nerves, excitement and expectations, all of which are perfectly normal reactions. As always, Skillwork is here for you every step of the way to answer questions, offer support, and provide encouragement. Today, we're going to share a few tips for helping you successfully navigate your first few weeks on site. Tip number one is just be familiar with the facility's location and your route. Something that you can do to alleviate stress or nerves is to be familiar with your job site. If you haven't already, now's the time to get familiar with your facility's location. Whether you've arrived in town a few days early to check out the local area, or you've only just arrived the night before on the first day, take a minute to confirm your facility's address and the route that you'll take to get there. If you can, try driving to the facility before your start date to see how long it takes to get there, how to enter their property, and the parking area. The best way to avoid stress from the start and make a great impression is to arrive on time especially on that first day. So take these steps to reduce as much uncertainty as possible. Tip number two is to check in with your engagement coordinator. Remember that your EC is your lifeline and your support system here at Skillwork. Even though you're working on a contract at a facility that may be far from our headquarters, you remain a Skillwork. You are one of us and are considered a part of our team. So let your EC team member know when you arrive for your first day. Not only do we want to ensure you've arrived safely, but we also wanna offer support from our end should any questions or challenges arise at the facility. Tip number three, please remember to use Paycom. Starting on your first day at your new job, remember that Paycom is an essential part of your daily work routine. You'll need to log into the app and then use it to punch your time in, your time out, your breaks, create good habits early, get accustomed to using this now, and before you know it, it will be second nature. Let's talk briefly about your time card. This is arguably the most important thing to remember about using Paycom. You'll wanna ensure you're familiar with how to punch in and out properly for your shifts. The facility where you work may also ask you to punch your time in and out on their own systems. This is completely normal, don't let it throw you off. Having both you and the facility track your hours allows our payroll team to ensure you are paid correctly, should we notice any discrepancies. It's a team effort between yourself, the facility where you work, and our skill work payroll team. There is a system of checks and balances in place so that your hours worked are accurately recorded and you're paid out appropriately, which is kind of the most important. Rest assured, our payroll team will be in touch with you if there's any error or concern with your time card. Again, your EC is here for you, so you can always bring any concerns to them about your time card or Paycom. They'll get you in contact with a payroll specialist if needed. Tip number four is managing your expectations. As I'm sure you already know, starting out in a new job can bring excitement, but also with that, a degree of uncertainty, maybe even anxiety. You've likely found yourself in a new town, surrounded by new coworkers in a new facility that's just all unfamiliar to you. It will take some time to get acquainted with these things and feel settled, and that's perfectly normal. Another one of our tips for success is simply setting your expectations appropriately and giving yourself the space and grace to get used to your new living and working arrangements. Anticipate that there may be some bumps in the road along the way, especially in the beginning. But with a little persistence and the right mindset, it's more than likely you'll be able to navigate a few challenges and find success on the other side. I'd like to share a framework with you that's been really helpful to others in your same situation as you approach your first couple of days and weeks on your new job. When you're faced with something new or unexpected, try and frame your perspective around the three Ps. Be positive, be patient, and be proactive. Number one, be positive. It's easier than said than done, but staying positive makes a huge impact. It can influence your own outlook as well as the attitudes of those around you. A great quote by John Gordon puts it this way, being positive won't guarantee you'll succeed, but being negative will guarantee that you won't. The power of your attitude goes a long way. So remember, stay positive in those first few weeks. 
Number two, be patient. Bumps in the road should be expected and not every day will go smoothly from start to finish. Anticipate that this adjustment period will take time and give both yourself and the facility an extra measure of patience as you both become familiar with each other and just the expectations of the job. And third, be proactive. Look for opportunities to jump in and help, ask questions, be willing to learn, be ready to lend a hand as needed. You might not have everything figured out at this facility, but showing a respectful level of proactiveness to learn and become part of the facilities team will demonstrate to your coworkers and managers that you're just here to help. All right, you've gotten through your first week or so on contract. You're starting to settle in and get familiar with the local area, your coworkers, and the layout of the facility. Lastly, let's touch base on a few key points as you transition out of your introductory weeks in the facility and into the rhythm of the rest of your time on contract. Let's make sure we're on the same page about these few things. What's your lodging plan? Make sure you're thinking about this. Will you remain in a hotel for the duration of the contract or have you secured a furnished rental for the next few months? One of SkillWorks housing coordinators will be checking in again to ensure you've got a plan in place for your lodging and lend support as needed. Number two, give us your honest feedback. We wanna hear from you. Your EC is going to continue checking in with you throughout your contract. You'll get to know them well. Be sure to give them feedback and let them know how they can best support you. Number three, payday. This is the most important one, right? Your first weekly paycheck is paid out the second Friday from your start date. After that, you'll be paid every Friday based on the hours worked the previous week. Be sure to connect with your EC if you have any questions at all regarding our guaranteed hours policy, benefits, and much, much more. Today, we've covered some basic tips for success to help you navigate your first few weeks on site, but the real work is up to you. You've earned this position, you're more than capable of succeeding, and we're so excited for the opportunities in store for you. We're only a phone call or a text away. Reach out if you have questions or concerns. And remember, be positive, be patient, be proactive, and you'll get through these first few weeks successfully. Best wishes from everyone here at SkillWork.